All right, so here we are, and uh, we are on the website here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to be make you want to make sure that you are logged in as uh, not your account as admin, but the actual admin. Um, you want to make sure that you are logged in as XF1 admin, which is right here. Okay. And if you don't know the login information, I'll give you login information if you're an admin uh, to the site, which is me, Ricky, or Spons. Um, the, uh, the reason you have to be logged in as this admin here is because when you send out a newsletter, it's going to use that email assigned to that account um, as the reply back to or as the from uh, email address and you don't want your personal account email address in there if you'll notice on the test that I sent you it came from CS Durango Dave's and the reason for that is because I sent it from the to John Wayne login um, if I had sent it from the XF1 admin it would have come from I think webmaster at or customer service or something at uh, teamxrossfire.net so okay so you want to make sure you're logged in as the admin. Um, okay. So we're going to go ahead and go into uh, into here um, and oh come on, I know it's on. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and go into the admin control panel, and we're going to go to create a, uh, a newsletter first. So basically what happens is you create a newsletter, and then you send it out later. So um, there are a couple of settings that you want to check when you get into the newsletter first. Under the board configuration here on the, on the general tab, uh, there's uh, some settings down here. It says uh, newsletter settings. Okay, you can modify these if you'd like. They're pretty standard, but there's only a couple of them, so those are fine. But under mods, under the mods tab, okay, you can go into manage newsletters. Okay, now if you see, I have the test newsletter here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new newsletter. So I'm going to call this test news letter two okay create the newsletter all right that's going to give you the options um the newsletter type you want it optional you want it group you want it uh, board newsletter okay uh whatever you want to do with that uh of course the description uh the um uh the newsletter language uh you can choose british english or whatever the whatever is this listed in there and then of course your footer now when we do the newsletter uh, in the old days everybody used to do fancy newsletters with graphics and stuff like that you know people pretty much anymore just put those off in the garbage can um, uh, because they're they know that they're marketing or whatever um, people nowadays uh, prefer the plain text versions so as far as that goes, all the images, all the other stuff is probably not going to fly. If you are doing a fancy HTML newsletter, which you know you can include images and stuff in here, uh, then of course, uh, you know they would see all the fancy stuff. But anymore, like I said, they just prefer plain text uh, newsletters. So we'll just do the plain text ones. So the footer and the descriptions and stuff need to be in plain text. Just Put something in there, you know, log on today, we missed you, whatever you want to put in there. Okay, and then the style sheet, if you have a a, um, a custom style sheet, which we do not, uh, you can put the, the link in here. We do not have one. Uh, if we were going to do a fancy HTML, then yes, we would use one, uh, but we're not, so... And then, of course, uh, uh, the, uh, the newsletter archive view. Um, now... There's closed, there's registered users, and there's guests. Um, so basically, if you, let's let's put some uh, let's put some uh, text. In. Let's put some junk in here. Okay, we'll just put some junk in here real quick. Okay, so we're going to do submit. 
okay so the newsletter is created right now so right now there is a newsletter in there and if we go to newsletters you'll see that it's in there right here okay there's basically a couple of steps to this the next thing you need to do is you need to assign who gets this um, newsletter okay and who could view this newsletter so let's say that we are going and you do that through newsletter permissions which is right down here under under where we click this so um, the newsletter permissions uh, basically you can only uh, include or you only choose one newsletter here uh, because you're going to do the permissions for one newsletter and I went in and modded the file uh, this file right here that shows this text and I put an extra example in there it says for example if you want the newsletter to go only to admins then you would only assign admins in the permission box also only send newsletters as the founder um, because otherwise your personal email will be there so just what I said in the beginning of the, of the video um, so if you ever update PHPBB and it gets rid of this or you don't merge it or whatever, then, of course, you'll have to, you know, I just wanted, wanted you to know that I did mod this. So anyway, let's move on. So the um, uh, we're going to choose the newsletter 2, which is the one we just created. And now you're going to assign some permissions. So uh, if you want to click all of these here, uh, if you want to highlight all of these here, you can highlight all of these. Okay, so there's that one and that one and that one and that one. And all of these will have permissions for this newsletter. If you only want the guests, if you only want to send it to guests, then of course you just highlight guests. Let's take this one off. Uh, and of course the guests will be able to view it. So I'm not going to send this newsletter because, um, uh, well actually I need to go in and show you that anyway so all right so let's say I'm gonna go ahead and just do this to administrators okay so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, highlight administrators and add permission okay beautiful now if you go back you'll see that administrators is added up here okay all right good Good deal. All right. So now you get out of this, okay, and you go back to the board index, okay, and you click on the newsletter tab, and you will see two newsletters in there. Um, the if I was not logged in here and I tried to click on one of these, it would actually tell me, sorry, you can't read this because guest is not a permission on them okay uh, if you want the guest to have permission then of course at this point not logged in the guest will be able to read those um, and I'll show you here. I'll go ahead and log off okay and I'll go to newsletter okay and you'll see this is a new uh, this is a newsletter here okay see it says you are not allowed to read this newsletter and the reason for that is because the guest was not assigned okay so uh, only only administrators so let me log back in here so now we're logged back in and now if I wanted to read them since I'm part of the admin I can read them okay all right now, if you will notice, go to home here. Um, if you will notice, when you click on the newsletter, okay, when you actually click on the individual newsletter, okay, this is when you actually send it out, okay. You can send it out uh, through email right here, right now, okay. Or you could just leave it here and let people read it from right here. That's what I like about this mod. So if I wanted to send this one out here actually let me go to the one we just created okay because we know that we just chose admin so if I click on new email okay it's going to say uh, this newsletter will be sent to all members of the following group administrators okay because we chose administrators and the permissions if you had chosen registered members 
it would have sent it to all the registered members. Okay. Now you can put your subject. Uh, this part right here that says username, leave that there because it will it will automatically put their username in there. Um, and uh, so you put the subject, leave that there, uh, type your content in here, okay? And then uh, whatever content you want, and then just push send. And it will send out the email uh, via the permissions. And that's how you basically do an email uh, or do a newsletter. And so that wraps us up. Uh, it's as simple as that. It's very easy to do. It's just three basic steps. You create it, you assign permissions, and then you decide if you want to leave it in here as read only or as uh, leave it on the forum um, as uh, this right here, just an item in a basically a topic uh, area, or you can actually send out the email if you choose to. So that's how you do it. I uh, appreciate it very much, and have a great day. See ya.